and I work like a dog day and night living off a coffee from a pot none of you want to touch it's a bittersweet my name is Catherine. They used to call me a genius. But when I got into NASA, I realized racism was everywhere. As a black woman, I had to run half a mile just to use the colored restroom. It took 40 minutes round trip. Work kept piling up. I didn't even dare to pee long. Every run to the bathroom was full of pain and frustration. One time, I used a co-worker's kettle to make a cup of coffee. Everyone stared at me like I had done something awful. Turns out, even kettles were segregated. They gave me a special kettle but didn't bother filling it with water. I stayed quiet, I kept going, because I knew to prove myself here, I had to swallow it all. But things only got harder. One day, my boss handed me a file. He asked me to calculate a rocket path, but all key data was blacked out. By accident, I saw through the light and read the hidden numbers. I only looked once, and I got the answer. Holding back my bladder, I wrote the results on the board. When I went to the bathroom, the room fell silent. They had struggled for weeks, and now a new girl solved it. Whose work is that? Catherine Goble, sir. That moment changed everything. The boss finally saw me. I was trusted with Core Dago for the moon landing project. That trust, I earned it. With brains and grit, as launch day near, the boss noticed I kept leaving. One day, he snapped, he yelled, asking where I kept going. It was pouring rain outside, but I still had to run half a mile to pee. I couldn't hold it in anymore. I thought I'd get fired. But the next day, he showed up with a sledgehammer. He smashed the colored restroom sign. No more colored restroom. No more white restroom. Here at NASA, we all feel the same color. I broke down in tears. For the first time, I felt real respect. I worked even harder. Then we had a big problem. Where would the capsule land? The numbers changed daily. I kept calculating nonstop, but I needed live data. And women weren't allowed in Pentagon briefings. I begged to go, but my boss always refused until his boss found out. Pentagon briefings are not for civilians. It requires the highest clearance. I feel like I'm the best person to present my calculations. No, no, listen, no, no, I am not. And, and she is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman. Okay, I get that part, Paul. Who makes the rules? You, sir, you are the boss. You just have to act like one. Sir. You keep quiet. Yeah. He broke the rule himself. I entered the meeting room. Everyone stared at me, but I didn't flinch. When I heard the new data, I calculated the landing spot on the spot. Right there, I proved I belonged. I proved I mattered. Soon, the rocket launched. It orbited the Earth, and the capsule landed safely. The whole country cheered, but it wasn't just about space. It was about women and people of color making history in silence. I am Katherine Johnson. I once looked up at the stars. Now my name lives among them. 